Hi, this is Neil Walters. I'm here with Yogi Veda today. Hi, Yogi. I understand that you recently installed BizTalk 2009 and you used the platform of Windows 2008 and SQL 2008. So what were your first impressions? Hi, Neil. Yeah, I was interested in what the BizTalk 2009 was and so I installed them on the virtual machine. And the very first thing you can find out was that uh, you can uh, develop solutions on the Visual Studio 2008 instead of the 2005. I guess you can move all your uh, solutions to 2008 and stop using 2005. And uh, the very next thing would be that the BT project uh, is uh, part of the C-Sharp project. And this means a lot of things, one of which is you can use uh, MS Build to build your solutions and uh, make it into an MSI for deployment instead of having your own deployment framework. Uh, well, another thing would be that the orchestration files had the C-sharp file when it got compiled, right, for the 2006 R2. But for the 2009, the maps and the schemas are compiled into a C sharp so that MS Build can identify what's uh, being changed and do an incremental compile instead of the full compile. You can debug maps, although I haven't tested them out like thoroughly, but then I think it might be helpful in whatever little way they can provide. The event log is missing from the admin console, and you don't find the hat in your startup menu because I think all the features of the hat is shifted to the BizTalk admin console. I guess they're trying to face out the hat, although you can find the hat in installed, and if you browse through the program files in BizTalk folder, you would find hat. I guess... It's nice to kind of put it all together in one place now, I think. So... Tell me, is there anything, though, they should have fixed that they didn't fix in this release? Well, the first thing I noticed was the expression editor is still not resizable. So you have to go through oh. the pain of scrolling and all that. So, And also, the maps are still a pain. I see uh, you have your ugly map picture up on your side, and maps like that, I mean, it's a pain to just manage or even modify them so it would be nice to have a better way to manage them well i think maps are always going to be a pain to be honest but i mean your little idea where you click on a node and then the uh joint nodes or the connected node with the functoid would sort of come up into a pop-up screen or something was a pretty good idea but you know, Microsoft hasn't come and asked me yet, so <laughs> yeah. one day maybe they will. So this has been Neil Walters and Yogi Veda here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Please check out our website, biztalk-training.com, for more short videos and instructions and tutorials on BizTalk 2009 and the upcoming ISB Internet Service Bus, which they're also calling Oslo. Have a good day. Bye, Neil.